Wow, we're going to talk about unconscious bias. Just real quick, real short. Unconscious bias affects everything. It gets in there and it just it just rips an organization apart. But let's start at the beginning, the beginning. Unconscious bias. Well, let me stop. What in the world is unconscious bias? Unconscious bias. Okay, unconscious. I did something without even realizing that I did. We see it all the time. We all do it. I mean, some of it, we can jump in a car and drive someplace and get there and then look around and not even remember making any turns, but you got there. You just unconsciously, you know how to get there. You just, you just went and you did it. Well, unconscious bias is, well, I said something. I didn't mean to take it. I didn't mean to offend you, but it offended you. I'm so sorry. In our hiring practices, well, you know, I went to Harvard. I go to the club for the for my recreation. I play golf. I, you know, so you get my point. So the people I hire, oddly enough, went to the same schools I went to. They live in the same neighborhoods I live in. They have the same recreational enjoyments that I have. Um, gender, they're probably the same gender. And oddly enough, if we look closer, they're probably the same race. In your hiring practice, if you understand who you are, if you have that self-awareness of who you are, what makes you you, where you went to school, where you live, and all those things, if you're very self-aware of those things, then in your hiring practice, you're going to stop and you'll think, okay, is it Johnny Jones or is it Malik? Is it Robert or is it Susan? When I'm self-aware, then I can lay those things right there on top of who I'm hiring and why. Who gets the tough job, which leads to promotion and why? Is it because they're capable or because I can't see past my own experiences. I did this exercise at Arizona State University. I, I used to work with students there and I did, it's called the three minute bias exercise. Three minutes. It takes me longer to explain this than it does to actually do this. And the way it goes, it's like this, try it yourself and you might find something else about you. Now, I don't care whether you're black, white, red, yellow, it does not matter. Try this exercise out and figure your own bias because we all have them. Take a little three by five card, whatever, piece of paper, list down one side, the left-hand side of the column, just write in a column, the initials of six people you trust more than anything. Okay, your mom and dad are not part of this, all right? Your wife, your spouse is not part of this. OK, but six people you trust, your best, best, best friends, six, write down. Now, if you can say yes to these questions, put a check right by the, the initial. If you can say yes, put a check. Here are the questions. We were educated in the same type of college. What I mean is. They were Ivy League. We went to a state university. We went to what? What's the matter, you? We went to wherever. We didn't go to college. Whatever. Put a check. We live in similar neighborhoods. Now, similar, not identical, but they're similar. Okay. Check if it's a yes. Well, we all play golf together every Saturday. That's a big check. That's a yes. Okay. You get my point? Recreation. Well, you know, we're of the same religious group. Now, this one gets dicey. I don't mean, well, we're evangelical. He's Catholic. He's, no, no, that's Christian. That's just the big overarching group, Christian. He's Jewish. Please don't say he's Hasidic. He's a, no, Jewish, okay? Well, he's Muslim, okay? That's, well, you know, he, no, no. Muslim is Muslim. Let's go. Okay. It's the same religious group, the big, the, the umbrella group. Same gender, same race. 
Now, if you can say yes to all of those, each one of those gets a check. Please don't fool yourself. Do not fool yourself. Put the check there. As you see the checks, as they come across, look at those checks. That's your bias. That is your bias. So in the hiring practice, if you are the person who has the final say-so, or even if you're the person who has the first say-so, which is probably more important, the first say-so to get that person in, look at your own biases first. Look at who you are as a person. Be self-aware. That's the biggest problem when it comes to recruiting. The number one biggest problem is the bias that we all have and we don't recognize it. So self-awareness is extremely important. And I'm going to stop there with the hiring practice because that's, num that's rule one in hiring is be self-aware first is extremely important. Okay, we good? Perfect.